today's video is going to focus on how we can perfectly create a connection between PHP and MySQL database. So the first thing we are going to do now is we are going to open our PHP my admin and create a database. So this is PHP my admin open. We are going to create a database. So the first database, uh, the first thing to do is we are now going to click on new. When we click on new, we will put the name of our database. Let's call it PHP lesson. So we we'll now click on create. So we have already created our database PHP lesson. So let's go back to our code. This is the folder in my BS code. So now we are going to create a file. We'll call it connect.php. So I'll click on this then I'll create, uh, write the name connect dot php we just click on enter now we have our file created so the next thing to do we are now going to create php block this is it we will now put the closing part all right so the first thing to do now is we are going to create a connection variable this variable is going to be used in every every part of this program so once we call this file connect.php so we we'll now give it this is how you create a variable we we'll put the last sign now we can give it a name of my sqli this is the variable connection then we we'll now uh, put the connection statement say new my sqli now we need to uh, specify the host we we'll say local host then after that we we'll now uh, specify the user which is default root then after that we we'll specify the data uh, the password currently I don't have password on the server that is my local host then the next thing is we are now going to specify the name of our database that is this database we created is the PHP lesson so we we'll now click on it we we'll put the name of the database PHP lesson so after this now, we need to finish the statement with a semicolon. So when we do this, we have now created a statement that will make connection to our database. So next is to check whether we we create this code, the code is correct or not, whether we can be able to connect with the database or not. So I will say if, then I will put this, our variable, that is this MySQLite connect, MySQLite then the next thing to do i'll just put this then i will now put a function call connect error so i'll put connect error now this is what is going to be executed if this statement is uh, called so now echo if there is problem while we are trying to connect to our database so for it fail to connect to my SQLi. Then after that, it will now specify what is the real reason. After we put this dot, this dot means concatenation. So we now put my SQLi, that is. Then we now put this, we can say connect error. Let it specify an error for us. That is if there is no connection between our program and the database. So we are writing all this code to test how the connection is. Then after it tests it, we will now use exit uh, function. That is to close the code. The code will not proceed from this state. I will now save this program. So I will now go to the browser and test this, uh, this file, that is this program. So we'll go to the browser, we'll now select it like this, say localhost slash, the name of our folder is what? The name of our folder is PHP lesson. So we'll now go back to it, we'll put localhost then slash PHP lesson then slash, the name of our file is what? The name of our file is connect.php. So we'll now come back to here and put connect.php so i'll now hit enter 
When I hit enter, we can see that um, the, there is no error. So that is to say we have successfully connected to this database which we just created PHP lesson. Let me test another way if um, maybe we put something like another N here. That is to say we are referring to this database. So I'll go back to this and now refresh. When I refresh, you can see my solar construct on non-database PHP lesson. That is to say, this PHP lesson database is not recognized. So there is no database called PHP lesson in our server. So I have to now go back and just remove the end. So that is to say, our, our function, that is the function we created to check whether there is connection or not is working perfectly. So when I save it now, I'll come back, I'll now refresh it you can see we have successfully made connection. So this is the end of this first video, which is how you can be able to perfectly connect to your database with the use of PHP. Follow us on the next video that is going to be advanced of this. So we are going to follow this video uh, one after the other. That is from the simple stage to the next stage up to the time that we are going to be more familiar with how to use PHP and MySQL. Please, if you do not subscribe to this channel, try to subscribe. Therefore, you can be able to receive all the new videos we are going to be adding, which are going to be very awesome. See you in the next video.